Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome back to uh, Cloudpunk, where we shall continue the game. Oh, I think we were close to collecting enough punch cards to go back to see um, Nebula, whatever her name really is, the uh, the android. So uh, hopefully we'll get enough of those this episode. We'll see. Um, and yeah, otherwise continue on with the, the story. Oh yeah, we've got Huxley with us, haven't we? The the noir detective. I'd forgotten about him. Man. Very loud to me this is. There we go, that's a bit better. There we are. Cool, right. Um, so, what are we doing here then? Uh, investigate Ragwan's apartment. Find more punch cards for Evelyn. Okay. Um, 200 yards that way, or 200 meters that way. Come on, Huxley. Keep up. Keep up, fella. Let's go. <clears throat> I feel like I'm treating him a bit like my dog now. Huxley and Canis. So, yeah, we just need one more punch card. That'd be awesome. Hopefully, we find that today without too many problems uh, okay here we are do we need to go up neon boy this was the place for sure I was on my way wait do you want me to I couldn't ask the dame to do any more she was a class act a dime store performer in a city of nickels a diamond in a waste bucket good luck Huxley <laughs> I said goodbye to my new friends. The He's way back there. Flashed me a smile brighter what? than the sun. Even the dog wished this is, me good This luck. feels like a very like no, um, close Can encounter. Wish him luck. <laughs> good luck, I <laughs> Sorry, guess. brief encounter. That's the one. Be careful, <laughs> On the platform. I hope you save Pasha. All the fog. <laughs> the dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. <laughs> Okay, he's just going to stand there now. Oh no, he is walking this way. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. As I stood there well, on the platform, okay? I don't know, Camus. waiting for Huxley to approach me. I have an me. additional question. Go ahead. He walked past as if I was what nothing. What is a girl scout? What, what is a dime? <laughs> what is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time there to move on, Camus. He walks off into the distance. Sweet. Right, so we don't know what a Girl Scout, a Diamond, and a Nickel are, apparently. Interesting. High control. Hey, kid. Um, you're free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing, control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's, uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower. Labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in <laughs> Anderson Town? She read my mind. Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out. <laughs> really? I want this uh, robot. It looks pretty cool. Can I keep you as a pet? Oh, bye then. I'll take that as a no. Uh, right, there's the uh, the flying Aston. Lovely. Right, what are the controls again? That's forwards. Left and right. A is boost. Ah, there we go. Up and down is on that one. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a little bit of a little while. It's been a little while since I uh, played the last episode, so let's uh, head on this way. Gotta love that boost. Cloud Canal. It's nice of them to just give us money for driving around. Yeah. Right, keep our eyes open for punch cards. As soon as we're heading back to the uh, main area, I would definitely like to do that. seeing anything so far. Oh, we're, we're already in the main area. I thought we were uh, further away than that. Park vehicle. 
Who have we got over there? We've got Farmer. Hello, Farmer. Hey, I know you. You're Cloudpunk. No, I'm not. No, I'm Rania. I work for Cloudpunk. No, I don't. Who are you? It's illegal. You don't remember? I'm from Vince. We spoke. Maybe you don't recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. Okay. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Novalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? We were trapped. The only way was to climb. Fair we enough, We had no yeah. one to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. It was so dark inside the superstructure. Do we, need, do we really need to be standing in the rain? Like, so what do you need from this? me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near cold ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. That is all I can say. Can't we go back the way you okay. came? No! It's frozen solid. The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones. There is no way back. If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. Okay. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can <laughs> ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Even with the storms? There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. Yeah, okay. From a certain point of view. Right, pick up the package. Mr. Anderson. Hello. That is a strange Mr. name. Anderson. I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for an old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. Okay. This away. There are so many more people like me here than back at the plateau. Here in Navalis? <clears throat> does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home, either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Well, that's because yes, they're robots. but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice, though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those uh, jobs, would you? No, Let's but right the here. automata here in the city are different. See if there's any, I think uh, they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? Or anything? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, we when we have Something the windows cleaned. Here. I have to interact with them, and I always say the wrong see thing. see what it is? I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Oh. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes. It's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. Yeah, that's but book. I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about Let's the buildings when I look up. The target, then. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. <laughs> we're alone together. That's the title of the new um, Star Trek thing, I think, that was done over Zoom. They were reading... Uh, like a, a fan written script or something. Deep Space Nine it was. I need to listen to that. Camus, uh, are you there? Sure Did you hear what the cool. moisture farmer said? Yes. Ah! Near cold air ducts. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. Uh, okay. I'm adding a nap point. On my way. Oh, that one's closer. Let's go do that one first. Doesn't appear to be any time limits on anything, so... Should be all good. Uh, left here. Oh. Okay. 
say. It's not actually clear. So let's all right. Let's do the one we came here for then. Uh, how do we get to it? around this place is there yeah there is a way through there that's good oh okay I did not touch that totally did not touch that is this where we're going looks like it probably is yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna bet it's in here Where's the... There we go. <laughs> it's hard to see what's a parking space and what isn't here. Right. Off we go. Oh! Is that a punch card? It is a punch card! Cool. We got the last one. So we will uh, go back to Evelyn. As soon as we uh, are done here. Sweet. What's the X? Buzzer. Hello? Who's there? I'm delivery driver 14FC from Cloudpunk. No. Nope. We can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great. Come get your package. Mr. Anderson. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. <laughs> well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. And how many are called Mr. Anderson? All of them. 1,000. No, half of them. What? Wait, are the other 1,000 called... Mrs. Anderson. Miss Anderson. Yeah, Ms. Anderson, there we of go. Of course they are. What a mess. <coughs> Look, can I come in, or... Nope. Yes. Oh. Opening entry for driver 14FC from Cloudpunk only. Uh... Interesting. So what's the deal here? You're all family? You're all Thomas No, there. we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. <laughs> yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. Well, I'm going to give you this package then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. B uh, but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm-hmm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. So, let's see. I just, just rip, rip this, this flap, flap and... It's a comm. But a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Maybe. Worth a shot. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. <laughs> More specifically, I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. Right. There exists life outside the tower. No Wait, way. you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does seem strange. <laughs> Please, play the rest of the message. My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your there workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason. To set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? No. Uh, what? No! We are not permitted <laughs> to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? Never. We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO <coughs> and director of Anderson Financial. He's probably dead. Of probably course died he is. ages ago. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. Okay, where's well, personnel? I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. Right. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, 
I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. <laughs> You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. That's okay. not really my problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, look, there's another one of those robots. Hello, do you want to be my pet? Do, do you want... Oh, I'm going to take that as a no as well. Man, they're fussy. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Hello, Ms. Anderson. Can I talk to you? No, I can't, apparently. Are you Mr. Anderson? Duh. More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am, but I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. This is business. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. Being dead. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? Hundred years it ago. It seems my records don't go back that far. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. <laughs> Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. Okay, let's go talk to Mrs. Anderson. We should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait, can you do something for me? Of course, Maybe. yeah. <laughs> Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Yeah. Additionally, I what? want to talk about expenses. Why would you I need, need for my pay processing units and my if you don't ever stop working? All right, I'm going to go get that um, object over there first. Oh, it's another book. Ta -da! Ruined book. We got a lot of ruined books now, I think. Hello, Ms. Anderson. Ms. Oh my Anderson god, she even looks accounts? like an agent. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to... I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear! Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. I don't really understand anything you just said. I think <laughs> Mr. A likes us this way. Mr. A's dead. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. What does Mr. A's signature look like? So the company like? is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest, the richest in Novalis? Ever. <laughs> the richest humans. So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing get a 90% likelihood shares. for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months. Perhaps sooner. And then really? not tell What's Redditors the that we've done it. So. Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? The financial simulations model the city and all associated variables. But the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. Right. So who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name, Cora. Cora. <laughs> of course. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? Is it a complaint? <laughs> yes. This I is getting very predictable Mr. now. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to yeah, quit. Walk away, walk away. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. 
Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? Say, we haven't... This one here. I already <laughs> showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. Yes, you should. Well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message. But I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. Mm -hmm. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. <laughs> Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. Right. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Anderson suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you Sounds may decide good. that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find oh. their own path. <sighs> well, that's, um... That's not fair, giving me a moral decision like that. Do we reset them or do we leave them? If we reset them... Will they not have, like, their instructions or something? Like, will they then realise that Mr. A is, uh, is gone? And maybe venture out on their own? Let's find out. I'm sorry, Andersons. I don't think you're ready for Novalis just yet. Can I talk to you now? Okay, apparently not. Well then, <laughs> that was that. <laughs> Let's uh, head back. Um... Yeah, let's see if we've got enough time to go and see Evelyn. Um, and see what she's up to. Right, so she's 600. You were gone that for way. a long time. Yeah, I, I was. Talk to you. Communication from the outside world is oh. forbidden in the tower. What did you do? I don't even know, Camus. This is a strange job. Yeah, Will I'm not even okay? sure what you did, really. I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. Who are the Andersons? It's a long story, Camus. <laughs> I'll tell you some other time. I'll tell you some other time. We have a message. Text so. only. Control? Rubric. Let's get some Lomo's fuel, hacker. Is there any way to delete it? Pretend we didn't get it? We could delete it, and pretend we didn't get it. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. <laughs> what does it say? Come, collect a package for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. And this your little dog, sling. too. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment. And they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Be a clever rabbit and come quick. Why do we never get good messages? <laughs> because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus. That's a very go. good question. Give me an F point for the Roadhouse Club. Right, where is the parking for my house? It's just here. Lovely. Oof. That camera. It's horrible. Right. Hello, Nebula. I found more of your punch cards. Do you remember what happened? Somewhat. Well, why did Dr. Zizic take your memories? I asked her to. Evelyn, you're really making me work <laughs> here. Can you just assume that I always want a bit more than what you're telling me? I had a traumatic experience. I could not continue to exist with that memory. 
Okay. So now you remember you forgot something, but you don't know what. Yes, that is correct. So I guess we should stop, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if this memory made you feel like you couldn't go on... I must recover the truth. But whatever this thing is you forgot, it made you want to... I forget. cannot live <laughs> like this. I need to be whole again. I guess we keep searching. Maybe we don't need to recover all the memories. Maybe. Okay, so more punch cards. Another 20. She wants another 20. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I think we are going to leave it there. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, check me out on Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, uh, those sorts of things. I am ASQ Rob on all of them. Um, hopefully, I'll see you there. See you next time. Bye.